Is this an actual Terminator come to destroy the world? Not quite. This is Fedor, a humanoid robot originally developed by Android Technics and the Advanced Research Fund. Fedor, which stands for Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research, has demonstrated amazing abilities. Other than walking while resisting being knocked over by its human counterparts, Fedor can lift weights, do push-ups, operate a drill, drive cars, and even give handshakes. Originally designed to do rescue work, Fedor's role has been expanded to its possible use as an assistant on the International Space Station. However, in a video released by Russian government officials, Fedor is shown performing tasks more suited to destruction than peacefully assisting astronauts in orbit. Though the video created quite a stir in the digital world, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin explains that this gun-wielding behavior is only meant to test and improve Fedor's decision-making algorithms and motor skills. In fact, according to Roscosmos, Russia's official space agency, Fedor could even end up on the moon in missions planned for the 2030s. Considering the moon's distance from the Earth? Yeah, that's a great idea. Prepare yourself for the Prothesis Mech Racer, a mechanized exoskeleton from Indiana company Furion. While it's not quite on the scale of the mechanized monster bots from the movie Pacific Rim, the Furion Exobionic Prothesis is the first machine of its kind to offer high-performance mechanized technology. At 15 feet tall and weighing a ground-shaking 8,000 pounds, this mechanical creature lets users climb inside and fulfill their mechanized dreams. Though not actually depicted in the company's promos, Furion claims the prothesis could be able to easily step over obstacles, jump 10 feet into the air, and run at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. That's insane! While these machines may give the impression that they're ready to trade blows with others of their kind, users won't be able to experience the thrill of battle. Instead, the prothesis is intended to be used in the company's X1 Mech Racing League, a planned venture that will pit users against each other in a series of races. While it may be a while before actual competition begins, the Furion prothesis is bound to attract many willing participants. Introducing the Trexo Plus from Trexo Robotics, an incredible device that helps children with disabilities learn to walk. The Trexo Plus is the only product of its type in North America designed for children affected with conditions such as cerebral palsy, brain and spinal cord injury, and other genetic conditions. Comprised of two robotic legs that can be attached to virtually any existing walker, the Trexo converts a passive walker into a fully powered robotic device. This allows children to experience independent walking on a device they're already used to wearing. The Trexo includes a powered exoskeleton that's contained within an outer frame. As the frame stabilizes the child and increases their confidence, the exoskeleton assists with mobility and rehabilitation techniques. An onboard computer detects the forces applied by the child and generates a gait pattern the child can physically operate within. Though the Trexo incorporates stainless steel in its design, many of its parts are 3D printed to hold down costs. With continued research and development, innovations like the Trexo will make rehabilitation devices accessible to many more children. Check out the Guardian LF1 from RSE, or Robots in Service to the Environment. The LF-1 is designed to greatly reduce the number of lionfish which are harming the Atlantic Ocean's coral reefs. Remotely operated with a 100-foot tether, the Guardian LF-1 will eventually dive to a depth of 400 feet and capture these predators where most divers can't go. The lionfish was accidentally introduced into the Atlantic 25 years ago. Because these fish feed indiscriminately on creatures that are vital to the health of coral reefs, lionfish are a clear and present danger to the reefs themselves. 
Because lionfish have tentacles which can harm humans, the LF-1 can hunt these creatures far more safely. With its eight thrusters, stunning panels, and capture system, the Guardian LF-1 can stun the lionfish with an electric charge, suck it inside its holding chamber, and bring it to the surface. Considered a delicacy, lionfish are said to be delicious. With the Guardian LF-1, instead of having these fish eat and destroy our precious reef system's wildlife, we can eat them instead. This creepy-looking gripper could be the future of the production line, presenting the Octopus Gripper from German automation firm Festo. Using tiny suction cups inspired by an octopus's tentacles, the octopus gripper can safely pick up, hold, and put down objects in the workplace. Unlike most production line attachments, this groundbreaking creation can be easily adapted to hold various objects. Two rows of suction cups extend down the 22-centimeter tapered tentacle. By bending inward as compressed air is applied, it's able to wrap around anything that can fit within its grasp. To guard against bursting, a lycra fiber material is used as a covering. While the passive smaller cups toward the tentacle's end use only the natural properties of their shape to provide grip, an air vacuum line can be engaged and applied to the eight larger cups. This allows a firm but gentle grip that doesn't harm the object held. By taking its cues from one of our world's most intriguing creatures, the octopus gripper demonstrates how our best innovations can be derived from what nature has already provided. If you're tired of looking for an open parking space at the car park, you'll love the Stan Robotic Parking Valet from Stanley Robotics. Now in service at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, France, Stan makes life easier for travelers and increases revenue for garage owners. First, reserve a parking space through the dedicated app. When you arrive, just drive to the designated staging space and log in at the terminal. In a few minutes, you'll see the Stan robot come rolling up. After scanning your vehicle and adjusting itself to the right size, Stan slides a carriage under your vehicle and takes it to a parking space. When you return, just log in again, and Stan will faithfully return your vehicle back to the staging area. Compatible with existing car parks, Stan is a big advantage for parking facility owners. By managing up to 400 parking spaces at a time, Stan can park up to 30,000 cars per year. With the Stan robot, the only thing better than having your own personal parking valet is not having to leave a tip. While there's nothing more awesome than watching robots fight each other, these miniature warriors are in a class by themselves. This is the Ganker Battle Robot from GJS. Facing one another in epic duels of destruction, these miniature mechanized gladiators wield their tiny weapons of war in dramatic fashion. Intricately detailed and finely crafted, Gankers battle with fierce abandon until a clear victor emerges, using punches, kicks, and whatever handheld weapons are available. Each player controls their Ganker with a smartphone app. When your Ganker receives a hit, health points are subtracted. When one of the robots reaches the end of its allotted health, its opponent emerges victorious. For landing blows, each robot is animated by nine joints powered by individual servo motors. Battles can take place anywhere, but a battle pit is available for arena-style mayhem between two or more gankers. Gankers come unassembled, so you'll have great fun building your own. When you're finished, the mayhem can begin. Are you itching for a fight? Sometimes it seems like we just don't have enough arms or hands. Check out Meta Limbs from the University of Tokyo's Inami Labs. 
metal limbs, or multiple arts interaction metamorphism are a robotically engineered pair of arms positioned to reach around under your human arms. A hand is placed at the end, with various other attachments as needed. Use of this system could return some functionality to many without the use of their upper limbs. MetaLimbs is envisioned for use as a robotic arm system or a positional tracking system. Positional tracking employs optical tracking devices attached to the feet and knees. Tracking balls on the knees and feet direct the arm movement, while a sock-worn system directs the movements of the hand. Special bending devices allow toe movements to control the robotic fingers, with haptic feedback allowing users to feel foot sensations when the robotic hand touches an object. As a robotic arm system, users can perform tasks with their human hands while the robotic arms either hold other objects or perform separate tasks. With so many possibilities for use, meta limbs could enhance human movement in incredible ways. Which of these robotic innovations impressed you the most? Tell us in the comment section below. Remember you can now watch Freeze Lists in Spanish on our Spanish channel Freeze Lists Español. To do so, just click on this link and you will be directed there. See you next time.